Hey everybody, in this video, I am going to work through the V-block example. And I didn't find this in any inventor book. I actually found this in an AutoCAD book, but I thought it was kind of interesting. So I thought I would give it a shot. So I will post the um, illustration with all the dimensions and all that good stuff down below. I actually point it below. You can't see what I, what I just did anyway. So what I'm going to do is to start this off, I'm going to go to new, new. We're going to use English standard. Hit the create button. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this back plane here, the XY. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle. I like using the two point center because it locks it right in the center and constrains it right there. But I'm gonna, so I'm going to click this green dot. I'm going to drag it out. So this is going to have a dimension of three inches on the bottom. So three tab. And then now you can't see it, but I'm going to type in 2.25 for the height and then press tab, press enter. Scroll out a little bit. So there is kind of the shape of our object here. So then I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm just going to block this off first and then we'll kind of chip away at it a little bit at a time as we go. So then I'm going to extrude this. I want to extrude it symmetrically, equal in both directions. This is going to have a distance of two. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, they don't tell you what that dimension is. That's it's a it's gonna be one of those finding buried treasure, but uh, it's that that dimension is two. That helps you out, completely helps you out and make this pro make this problem a lot easier. So yeah, that's gonna have a distance of two for the depth there. And then what I'm gonna do is like I said, I'm gonna start chipping away at this thing. So I'm gonna sketch what I know here. So I'm gonna start my 2D sketch again on this front plane here. And then I'm just gonna project geometry. I'm just gonna project this whole outer box. I don't really know if that helps, but anyway, I did it. So then we're, what I need to do is I'm gonna draw this line that's kind of angled line. So I'm gonna draw a line somewhere here. It's gonna come up somewhere up here somewhere. Right click, hit OK. I'm going to dimension this. So I'm going to dimension this end of this line to the bottom here. That is 0.75. And then I know this has a angle from here to here that has an angle of 30 degrees. Like so. Um, yeah, so probably, I don't know. I, I'm debating whether I should finish it here and then extrude that or just, let me just do the next one here. I must draw a line from this, where this end of this line is kind of down somewhere. So instead of doing it in two steps, we'll do this in one. I don't know if that's a good idea or not to be honest, but, and so I know that this line is perpendicular to this line. So I'm gonna use my constraint here. I'm gonna go up to perpendicular. I'm going to click this line, click this line. So now it makes that perpendicular like it needs to be because that's a 90 degree angle there. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to extrude this and this, but I want to cut it. And I want it to go all the way through. Hit OK. All right, so we are we got like a little Fancy, smancy roof looking thing on there. Anyway, so yeah, so there's that. So then what I want to do now is I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this angled face here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to project geometry again. I don't know. It might be overkill. I don't know. I'm just going to project this whole sheep here to get all the outer lines. I'm going to go to line. I'm going to draw a line from here at the top and kind of angle it down. It is going to go in the middle somewhere, but I'm going to try not to lock it in anywhere. And then back up over here somewhere. Wait, I don't need to erase that little gobbly glue. Or I could maybe just extend this. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, you need to draw a line kind of down and then back up. I did it the hard, difficult way. Anyway, 
So then I want to dimension where that edge is. That's going to be 0.2. And the same thing here, this one and this one. This one is 0.2. I'm just going to click this to make them equal. Hit OK there. And then these are going to be um, perpendicular. So I'm going to click my perpendicular constraint again because this is 90 degrees here and here. And then this needs to be right in the middle. So when I tried this earlier to dimension, I want to uh, dimension this end here to like one of the sides. If I can, here and here, there we go. So that needs to be, if I know that this has a, 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 a distance of two, I know this needs to be one. So there we go there. Then what I want to do is I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this triangle shape. I'm going to cut it. I want it to go all the way through. And then I'm going to hit OK. So there's that part. And then what I want to do is now I need to kind of create these kind of chamfered edges here. I wonder if I can chamfer those off, but you probably can, but I'm not that fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on the bottom plane. I'll just start my 2D sketch on the bottom. Pay attention to where, which way it flips because you might lose which side you want. So I need to um, draw a line from like here down, draw another line from here down, and I'm dimension these. I'm going to dimension, wait, wait, I don't know why it does that. It's like a little extra gobbledygook line. Yeah, make sure it doesn't draw any extra lines on you. Anyway, now I'm going to dimension this in to the side. That's going to be 0.75. Same thing here, from here to here. I'm just going to select this one so that they're equal. And then that has a, from here to here is 30 degrees. That's 30. Ooh, it extended out of there a little bit. I'm going to trim that thing off. I don't want you there. All right, so then I'm going to dimension this line, this back edge here, that's going to be that dimension. I'm going to click this to make them the same. And we got that. Now I'm finished my sketch. I'm going to extrude this and this, but I want to do it a cut. And I'm going to extrude it all the way up or through all. Yeah, through all. I click on OK. Then I think we're good. So there's our there's our V block example. Mm, I'm looking it over. I think we're good. So yeah, then we can just add some kind of a fancy semancy. Now, if you want to add a material on here, we could add a material on here. Let's add a material on here. Let's add um. What can we do? We can add maybe a steel carbon. I don't know. Just you know, for example. And that way, when you add steel carbon, you can see if you got the, yours the same as I got mine, which is what another user had uh, recommended. And so now what you would do is you would go to File, I Properties, you would click on Physical. Now you would update it, click the Update. So now with our material on there, so our volume is 7.571 cubic inches, our area is 27.152 square inches. So when you're taking the certification exam, it has you do this a lot because that way it knows if you did the, the problem correctly or not. I don't know why I just hit my microphone. I'm talking with my hands like, y'all can't see what I'm doing anyway. So what's the point? But anyway, um, so yeah, if y'all if y'all did the same that I did, you should get you should get the same mass, same area, same volume, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So I'm going to close this and we want to save it. We're going to save this. 
So in the book, this one is just called the V block example. I'm just going to call it V underline block. If I can spell correctly. Example. Hit save. You can even get fancy. You can add some shadows and reflections and make it perspective and you can change the lighting to photo booth, which is what I like to do. Yeah, do we have the shadow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Anyway. All right, so I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about Inventor. And uh, stay safe. I'll see you next lesson, hopefully. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, peace out.